that the unrelenting force of the realm is now, as opposed to him seeking that out, the realm is now coming for him. So you see the ramifications of that that sort of bleed into the, the dangerous nature of the season. He's good at this. <laughs> Thanks. Good job, Bert. Thank you. <laughs> and how does your character see this whole thing? <laughs> um, well, they kind of start out on the same kind of note. You know, I think they both want this normalcy, and and but they're both kind of awkward about it, and. Um, because they're not really good at being normal. Willa for her reasons, and you know Holden obviously for his coma reasons. Um, so you know I think they really try really hard. It doesn't always go super well. Um, but yeah, that's where it starts off and where it ends up. It all unravels. <laughs> Have you gotten to walk around Comic Con at all? We haven't yet. We haven't yet today. The day you gotta is gotta put on the sky. Wouldn't that be cool? I know. I think we Just might. Like a mask. We might have, which is so fun compared to last year when we were here promoting the show and, and sort of we had teasers out and that was it. This year we have the fan reaction of being able to do the panel and the questions and stuff. So this is a different experience this year. So we're, we're it's yeah. gonna be exciting to walk yeah, exactly, around. Exactly. Because last year was it even out yet? Yeah. No, it wasn't. So we were so we were promoting it. So we're advertising we're like, this Hi. year. People know it. Yeah. We so promised cool this is a real show. Yeah, exactly. I swear it's coming out. So yeah, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, some of us were here last year and promoted the heck out of it beforehand. Yes, <laughs> hey, well, thank you. Yes. <laughs> you were shirtless a lot last year. Uh, that did occur a couple times, yes. Is that going to happen again? So was John. It, it, does, it does occur. My audience well, wants again. to know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, they, we're you presenting a young, you know, a, a, a young adult audience. So I can say that there will be some some scenes where myself and other people will be scantily clad. Oh my! Myself and clad. other people. Yes. Who are these other people? Who it is? <laughs> Do tell us. <laughs> Adding another run to it. Yeah. Um, La- yeah. No. Quad ring. What can you say? Well, I mean, Luke does come into it, but it's um, it's complicated. It's not what you would expect with everything. It, it's sort of like last season, there were the two different sort of points where the Holden was sort of the apex of, of choosing what sort of avenue that these two strong female leads sort of presented to him of, you know, the past and the relationship he had with Willa versus sort of the, the passion and sort of the in-the-moment relationship with Charlie that grew to something more. So this season, you see a lot more of those worlds colliding and as well as you get Luke's character now coming into the triangle to make it the square that it is. So there's a lot of sort of relationship drama that will that will definitely come in and, and up the ante this season. But it's not like the main. It's not overwhelming. Thing. It's not like a yeah. lot of drama. No, but the, no, it's not a lot. But there is drama. People you make like it sound it. like it's like, <laughs> like it's a part of it. You can't did say fight people on were camera. Oh, sorry. Yeah, oh, there's, there's, exactly. I'm just kidding. Exactly. Somebody there's one right here. Scantily <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did we you finish know. filming the whole second season? We did, oh. yes. We finished in uh, mid-August. What Sorry. was your favorite part about filming the second season? Mm. It's so funny, when you wrap something, you like completely forget everything that's happened. <laughs> it's like this weird, I, th- I think everyone's the same, you're like, oh, well, I'm done with this, and then you leave, and like two weeks later, you're like, wait, what was that, what happened, what was I shooting? So when people ask their question, like, I really have to think really hard because like while you, while you think of, think of something. Oh, you always have an answer, don't you? Well, I have something that I really remember. Like, like, um, you, you sort of saw um, Holden tap into his abilities last year and sort of discover what they were, and, and this year there's a very formidable force that is the bad guy. Um, so he's really digging deep. So I, it's it's always fun portraying a character who has these sort of abilities and as Adam said, what was it? Extracurricular heroics, I think he said. Yes. So this year we're, we're seeing sort of a, a new way where he's really having to channel deep and I always love playing that aspect of it, whether it be with the CGI or the immediate environment with special effects. So it, it's fun for me to see this character have these abilities manifest itself in different ways. <laughs> I did. <laughs> there is something I can say without being too specific. I kind of like, because last season I think for Willa was very like... How should I say it? It was always, the focus was Holden all the time. And I felt like sometimes um, there wasn't really time to discover who she was. So it was, sometimes felt a bit distanced almost. It was like, well, who is this? It was almost like this, you can really go in depth into like who's Willa. Um, so what I like about this season is 
you can, well, she we can were, kind of, <clears throat> they're allowing her to be a little bit, trying to be not cool. knowing what she's doing. Because last season, she always knew what she was doing. Like, she knew everything, and she was trying to teach him. But now it's like, oh, she, no, oh, this was awkward. Or, oh, I don't know what to say here. And yeah, so I like that she was allowed to be a little bit more human and a little bit more vulnerable. Because last season, it wasn't time to do that. Like, we don't have time to be vulnerable. We have to do this thing right now. Uh, so that's what I like. I think my favorite part of shooting this season was the fact that Charlie gets to play a lot of dress up this season. We don't know how, yeah. obviously. <laughs> but um, but yeah, there's a lot of like sneaking around and yeah. you know, it's kind of cool. Anyway, we have time for one more question. So one of the most satisfying parts of the first season was watching Holden rapidly become more mature. Um, what was it like portraying that? What were the challenges you faced? Uh, it was it was a lot of fun to see him sort of stumble through, um, sort of growing up. Um, I think sort of one of the parts that I had to be in tune with was, was trying to channel as much of an innocence of, of an, sort of engaging with those activities, whether it be like a funny stumble of how to talk to a girl, whether it be a comedic, you know, a sort of stumble of these relationships, or whether it's life, or whether it's with this new life that he has, was as much innocence as possible, where I had to take sort of time to realize how would you interact with these people or someone if I've never done that before, or encounter a situation with complete sort of lack of understanding. So I think that was a part that I had to sort of just make sure I was tapped into more, and it was probably the difficult part of sort of making if you, if you get a chance to walk over, there's an activation. Yes. Where I know where the things come up. We've seen the footage day. of it. It's really cool. Yeah. I, I think I you're going to believe I was your stand in. <laughs> <laughs> and how'd it go? Do you feel powerful? Yeah, but don't yes. believe that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thanks, Great. Thanks. Okay.